Day has become the word in club fashion. Clothing many of this area's stars, the pair are going from strength to strength. Sunny Saturday afternoon in Manchester. I'm here at the home of Gail Goy with the boys responsible for the label, Anthony and Chris. Chris, why did you set up a label? Uh, when we first started, we was um, involved in the party scene, Acid House and stuff like that. And uh, just after like, the hooded top kind of phase thing, we decided that everyone was just dressed wrong and like certain other labels was dressing people in flares and stuff like that, so we just decided to do our own thing. Do you play separate roles? I mean, is one more financial and one more creative, or...? Stick with it. I'm more, like, uh, on the creative side with John. Yes. Like, he's had all... Um, went to college and university and all that for uh, design and everything. <laughs> but I've, I've never done anything myself, and Anthony's more on the financial side the financial of things. wizard, yeah? Not a wizard, <laughs> financial, you know what I mean? Do the banking if that's been a wizard. Jonathan, you're not only the designer, you came up with the name, Gio Goy. How did that come about? Um, it was... The GIs were coming back from Vietnam and using words like Diddy Mao and Fugazi, graffiti on walls, one of them meaning took, one of them meaning let's get out of here. And uh, I was just, like, into that, you know, when the Vietnamese, the sound of the, the words and stuff. Um, and we got a Vietnamese phrase book, so those were the only two words that we knew, and come up with Gio Goy by joining two things together. And the meaning of it is like loosely, uh, where is the call or the call of the wind, something like that. A lot of stars sport your garments, yeah? How did that come about? Well, like I said before, when we was involved in the party scene and that, we just, um, yeah, it was our, our sister used to work at Factory Records. Right. Like, she she kind of, like, grew up with it from when it was nothing to, to where it is or where it was before it uh, collapsed. So uh, we just, we just knew, sorry about that, Factory. Uh, we just knew all the people through our sister and everything and they're uh, doing the parties, they used to come to our parties. So then when we first started this off, all we did was we printed up like uh, a couple of hundred t-shirts with Gio Goy on the front, and we just gave them out to all the right heads, and they wore them, and like, the friends, well they're all friends, so like, they just Didn't wear it. We didn't have any goods for the first six months, we just had t-shirts we gave away. I mean, it's gone past the stage now, whereas we just, we give them gear and they wear it because they're our friends. Mm -hmm. A lot of the bands go out and buy it, you know what I mean? Or, the actors or whoever's wearing it, so it's just a natural progression from where we start. You're quite way out there. How do the how does the fashion establishment deal with you? They don't. Really? Yeah. We're not very. Uh, yeah. We're not part of no circles or. No, the fashion glitterate. Freemason no. society. Just do our own thing. It's like when we started, we just kind of like uh, kicked the back doors in and just like barged in because like we've never had any training. We've just like, when we left school, when we left school with no qualifications and just, we just bummed around Europe and doing various bits and pieces. So like, we just turned up and done it, and done it better than a few other people. So here we are. And apart from your friends uh, in the entertainment business, how do you promote the label? Our philosophy is that the less promotions we do, the more promotion it creates. Mm -hmm if you can get your head around that. It just means, like, uh, we don't chase anything. 
we kind of just we just do our own thing and it promotes itself at the end of the day. And that's it. Thank <laughs> you.